Hello everybody, buddy, buddy. Hello everybody, buddy. Welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. I'm probably way off on the freaking music, but oh well. And welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. Last time we did a little bit of, of World 2, bleh. <laughs> oh. Anyway, in my notice, I'm going to try to start speaking up on videos from now on. So hopefully, you guys actually hear what I'm actually saying. Can you hear me what I'm saying? Probably spoke a little bit too close to the mic there. <laughs> Alright, let's just start already. Woo ha 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 ha. Hey, you wanna buy an extra seat slot? It'll cost you $750, but you'll be able to choose seven seats per level instead of six. How's that sound? We have just enough money to do this, so why not? There's no point in not doing that. Alright, and hey, when you save up $5,000, I'll sell you the eight seat slot upgrade. Check you later. So last time we've gotten the new plant, the Grave Buster. You plant it down on graves, and it'll just get rid of the grave, and it'll give you some money for it. Simple as that. It's simple. It's simple. Can you even read? It's simple. Yeah, so let's begin here. You see, we got ceased to exist. Ha ha ha. Cease to exist. I'm gonna make these zombies cease to exist, though. Their attempts are ceaseless. That doesn't make any sense. Why did I even say that? When I really... Grave Busters are basically essential for night missions like this. There's just no argument. They're essential. Super, super important. So, I have seen a lot of arguments with Sun Shrooms versus Sun Flowers. Ultimately, it depends on whenever... What type of level you're playing? You're playing on nighttime level. You obviously want to go sun shrooms because one, you get higher profit with smaller sun shrooms. Because with the cost of one sunflower, it can get you two sun shrooms, which both of which will produce more than 25 sun. But for daytime missions, it's generally not worth the extra sun to plant a sun shroom in daytime. So yeah, you're just better off playing down sunflowers in the day. So this is going to be a pretty long wave. So I'm going to show off the Grave Buster here. After a while, the Grave Buster will eventually get rid of the grave. Plant potato mine there. I don't think it's actually going to detonate, but... At least give me a chance, at least. A fighting chance. You'll probably get eaten before I finish it, actually. I think I'm... Oh, just in time. Perfect. Perfect. So, yeah, there's... That doesn't want another reason why I love using puff shrooms on nightly stages, even when, typically, you could sacrifice extra... You could sacrifice extra slot for something better, technically, but... I do just typically like the few shrooms and... Plus runes, I mean. And using them for... Planting on temporary defense before you can... Blah. Let me restart that sentence. I typically like playing down puff shrooms. Because you can plant them and replace them with something better later on. And because it costs zero sun, there's no penalty for placing them like that to get rid of a... Pole vaulting zombie like that. There we go. Did I get across what I was going to try to say? I hope I did. Yeah, gross. So yeah, one little criticism I had about this game, not really criticism, just more of a minor complaint. You may notice that these nighttime missions have a drastically slower pace, but it does pick up speed just like the rest of the game. 
but they're pretty slow early on, so that's one minor complaint that I have about this game. There's nighttime missions in general, just slow. Even slower than the tutorial, oddly enough. Which ironically might be the quicker parts of this game. Ooh, money. Okay, so I have just enough sun to plant down another PU shooter. And there we go. We got. And we have enough sun to plant down another grave buster. Let's get rid of that grave there. Getting rid of graves not only guarantees you some money, but it also prevents less zombies in the final wave. So it's they're very useful. That problem is being overwhelmed. Use grave busters. They're very useful. It's a shame though, they're only really useful for this one part of the game. Spoiler alert. Yeah, and that's all the graves there. So really all this levels really just do wow, all this level really is now, bleh. Is just to this level really is now is just really just waiting. I guess I can replace the puff. Sh I have so much time. I guess I can replace the puff shrooms with a few shrooms. Have a bit more range and. And they do recharge quickly since I have so much sun and nothing to do with it. Yeah, for next, then I'm going to go back to the argument with the whole mushroom, sun shrooms versus sunflowers. Nighttime missions, sun, sun shrooms are the way to go because you can get more bang for your buck. But for daytime missions, you're just better off using sunflowers. Especially later on when you'll get something that I'm not going to spoil. You know, I kind of already spoiled the usefulness of the grave busters already. <laughs> Whatever. Forget about it. I mean, this... Stage is pretty much done at this point. I just sit here and do nothing. Just watch as this defense just breaks through everything. If I absolutely wanted, I can get rid of this whole back row of sun shrooms. Which I think I'm actually what I'm going to do quickly. Get rid of this whole back row of sun shrooms, just replace them with pea shooters. Break this freaking setup even more. This is a battle tactic. Plenty of down sun producing plants, getting lost sun, and. <sighs> ah, try got a little something back my nose. Ugh. That is a battle tactic. Getting rid of. Making two rows of sun producing plants, getting rid of the frontmost row to get some more attacking plants, build up a lot of sun with the. Well, some plants were still up, and yada yada yada. Yada, battle tactics, yada yada. So yeah, that's pretty much what this defense is going to end up being looking like. Who knows, this might actually be the thumbnail. That might actually be a good idea, actually. I think I'll just put this defense as just the thumbnail. And here we unlock the Suburban Almamac. Just, I probably horribly mispronounced that Suburban Almamac. Almanac. Almanac. Whatever. Keep track of all the plants and zombies you encounter. So you can see all the plants right here, all the stats I got for plants are taken right from the Almanac. Like for plant bios, you can see their recharge time and their cost right here at all times. You can also see stats for zombies too, like how tough zombies are. Which I don't do bios for them because frankly, it would take a lot of editing. Okay, so let's go back to the game. And guess what? It's the fifth level. Time for mini game. Ever play a game called Whack a Zombie? It's just like hunting squirrels. You know, those furry little rodents dig holes in your lawn. Yeah, just like that, but instead of squirrels, it's zombies. Instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. See, we're playing Whack a Zombie. We just hit zombies that come out of the graves with the hammer, we get some money, and if that's make it sun, we can plant down stuff like grave busters now. Blech. So ultimately this minigame can get a little tiring because it's mostly based on how fast you can click. 
I do like it a lot. Nope, you get stunned for killing certain mad zombies. Really, the only thing that's worth planting out of this are the Great Busters, really, if you're good at moving your mouse quickly. Though I will admit, this minigame does, it's pretty easy to get tired. Get your arm. When by tired, I mean it's pretty easy for your arm to start hurting from playing this minigame. If anything, there's nothing really stopping you from spam clicking everywhere. Yeah, Conehead Zombies, I believe, take two whacks with the hammer, and Bucket Heads take three. So be wary about that. It's not a very good grave setup I got. I'll work getting rid of the bottom two rows. Yep, go ahead, take two heads, bug head, six, three. Those are the only zombies that you'll see in this mini game. The cherry bombs can be useful for there's like a huge group of zombies, like in the final wave or something. Fucking uh, zombies! I am fan cooking everywhere. I, I am totally not on the rhythm at all. Well, then the final wave, zombies will appear from every single grave. And we got our next plant, the Hypno Shroom. Whew! My hand's starting to get a little cramped from that. <laughs> okay, so Hypno Shroom. As soon as a zombie bites into it, it'll make a zombie walk in your direction and simply eat the other zombies in the way until either it gets to the end or until it dies. Pretty interesting plant concept. Not very useful since the strongest zombie you can get out of this. With zombies, black. Strongest zombie that you can get with to fight for your side with Hypno Shroom is the Bucket Head, which later on really isn't that much of a problem, really. But it's an interesting concept, nonetheless. I am probably not going to use it. Oh, I just remembered there's a plant stronger than the Bucket Head. Or not plant. <laughs> plant stronger than the Bucket Head. Yes, the Bucket Head plant. No, a zombie stronger than the Bucket Head. The football zombie. Just in short, they had the same toughness as a bucket head, and they run as fast as a, as a javelin zombie. Or post pole vaulting zombie, whatever. Okay, there's no point in getting fume shrooms. Great busters are a must in this. I'll take hypno shrooms. P potato mine just to. Actually, I don't need potato mines. I don't know why I'm bringing them. Take pea shooters and probably repeaters too. I don't know how long this wave is, but depending on how long the wave is, probably won't need it. Level 2 6 is. How many flags long? One flag long. Okay, it's not that long of a wave. Okay. Now you can typically judge how long the level is going to be by checking how many flags there are on the progress bar down there. Because there's only one flag down there, it's not going to be a very long stage. Boom, 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 boom,
Move the window back to where it was. There we go. I'll get rid of that grave. So I have the sun to do it. And that grave kind of scares me, being a joke with my plants. So there you go. <laughs> Ugh. Allergies are still acting up, man. Gosh dang it, man. That also scares me, so I'm gonna get rid of that. See, I guess. Okay, so I guess what I was looking the word I was looking for for why I like puff shrooms is that they're disposable. Pretty much. Here it comes. Okay, the football player. To plant down Hypno Shroom. Watch him eat that football and he'll turn purple and be run the other way. And he'll eat any zombie that's in his way. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any zombies coming his way, so, fortunately. Nothing special there. Start playing down some pea shooters there. So yeah, I'm probably not going to use the repeaters unless I get like a, a ton of sun. Even then, I don't think there's actually enough time to plant repeaters anyway. Or something, please. Okay. Get rid of that grave. Get some money. Money, money, money. Okay, plant down and plant there. A lot more sun will be nice. I think there's going to be another football player that shows up. Come on. Yes. Yep, there he is. It just you know how tough football players are. Like he's not gonna flinch at all from when he's eating that zombie. I barely took anything from that. Oh, that's a problem. Just have a clean looking defense. Okay, I want to finish that grave bus. Let, let that grave buster finish eating, and yep, now get the money. Now we got our next plant. This is the Scaredy Shroom. I really love these things. They are very useful for nighttime missions. Get this. They are pea shooters. Basically pea shooters that cost 25 sun. Which is already a bargain. Major downside is that they hide when a zombie gets like 3 tiles away from it. They, they stop shooting and just hide under them. They're basically cowards basically. But they're, but they're so cheap. They do the same damage as a pea shooter. Like, there's no point in not using them, so I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them a lot. Because we got screen doors. I like to take Shroom too. So I can firmly say that pea shooters have been replaced for nighttime missions, and that's a lot of graves. Holy, that's a lot of graves. <laughs> yes. So that's basically the whole thing with mushroom plants, if you guys haven't already got it. That they don't really cost more than 100 sun, typically. Make them pretty useful for nighttime missions, that don't... Where you don't actually get a lot of sun anyway. That grave is in the way. You can't really plant any plants on graves. Cause if you try, yeah, you can't plant on graves. Right. 
Yes, what was I saying about, about the mushrooms? Oh yeah, they're cheap, but they're not very practical for long-term setups, besides the sun shroom, basically. Not many of them are really that useful for daytime missions anyway. I mean, one, they sleep during the day, so they're basically kind of useless for a while. I'm gonna have to eat that grave. Oh, we got a cone head. I probably want to plant down a security shroom there. I think I'm probably going to end off the episode after this stage. Because I typically want to stay under 30 minutes for these videos. Yes, Windows 10, I get it. You're being Windows 10. Remember, Sage is just going to get longer from here on out, too, so. Yes, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to cover entire worlds in two episodes like I did World 1. Like, nah. Even though the game is only about five worlds long, the game is not that short. Especially the post-game. That's going to eat up most of our playtime, by the way, is the post-game. Just plant down another row of fume shrooms and you're pretty much good to go for the rest of the stage. Oh, wait to plant down one of those. We got another one of these ready to go. No, plant some of those. So yeah, there's basic tactics in here going on. Eventually just replace the puff shrooms with the upgraded fume shrooms. I always like to think of fume shrooms as upgraded puff shrooms. Even though it's not really proper upgrade plans, we'll get to that. I see getting rid of grades is more important right now. Okay. Yeah, we basically got this entire stage just about done. Unless there's like a huge line of bucket heads coming along, I think we can handle it. Eat that grave. We got one more grave to finish. So much sun, I don't know what to do with it, man. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's mostly just a waiting game now. Don't really have any other use for the rest of these plants. I know I'm going to use the Hypno Shoons for the final wave for when the football players appear. I wish there was a speed up button like there, like there is in Plants vs. Zombies 2 in this game, unfortunately. But, hey, whatever. Speed up buttons are overrated anyway. This isn't the console game here, so you can't really just hold a button and have it automatically collect stuff for you. Nope, here comes a football player. Get rid of him. Now, unfortunately, Hypno Shrooms costs 
they have a slow recharge. Has nothing to do with their cost, actually. Oh, he's coming back! Hey, he's coming back! Let's get rid of him. Yeah, anyway, I hope you guys actually did enjoy that 30 minute long episode. So, this is going to be the end of this episode. Next time, we'll talk about the ice room next time. Just to go a bit more detail into it. Until then, see you guys later. Also, if you want to view the Alma Mac, it is right here in the main menu from now on. You can click on it, you can see what plants, what they do. You can see all the zombies and what they do. Yep, that's about it. See you guys then.